Make a what? Joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Very good. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Very good. And then today's entered his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with Yes, be thankful and bless his name. Very good. So we ought to be doing that, giving him thanks, praising him, thank, being thankful all the time. It's a really important thing to do. You have to use just a little bit of discipline. But if we're not careful, you know, I've, I've never known anybody developed an attitude that they're just always griping and grumbling and moaning and groaning and complaining. <laughs> well, you just break that bad habit because there's so many blessings God gives us that, yeah, sometimes things go wrong, of course, but when you, even when things are going wrong, we think, man, I've got so much to be thankful for. I don't need to get a bad attitude here. So, Lord, help me to be thankful and start listing the things you're thankful for. Pretty awesome. All right. Anything you want to mention before I pray? Oh, we need to practice that verse one more time. But, Bill, you got the unspoken request, right? Let's practice it one more time. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, be thankful unto him, and bless his name, and bless his name. Four phrases, enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. Okay. And his gates with thanksgiving. And his course with praise. Be. Be thankful. Well, it's close. Be thankful. Remember the next word? Be thankful. It wasn't for and it wasn't who. It was close to two. Be thankful. Starts with you. Unto him. And. Bless his name. That's it. Very good. Okay. All right, V.L., got your unspoken. Anybody else have anything you need to say before we pray? Go ahead. My mom got offered me a second hand. Because I have a different phone number. Because I have a different phone number. And she doesn't know that it's better off. Okay. So we need to pray that God will give her wisdom and make a good decision. Sure will. Robin, my rooster. Oh, yeah, your rooster. I'm going to send this morning. Okay. Okay. Y'all ready to pray? All right, Father, thank you so much for this verse again. Help us to be people of gratitude. Help us to be, have hearts full of thanksgiving. And Lord, I pray that you'd help that thanksgiving as we give you thanks for all the many, many, many blessings you give us. Help us to, to just be filled up with the joy that comes from realizing what an awesome thing you've done for us, how many blessings you've given us, and both spiritual and physical and material. Lord, we thank you for that. We thank you for, again, for... Uh, warm homes to live in, warm beds to sleep in, and that we can take hot showers, we have hot and cold running water, and thank you that we have refrigerators where we can keep good food and stoves and microwaves, and thank you that we got comfortable chairs to sit on, and thank you we have comfortable clothing to wear and comfortable shoes on our feet, and thank you, Lord, for uh, uh, the health you give us. When we get sick, we, we can get medicine when we need it, and we, we've got things to treat our symptoms, and we thank you for all of this, Lord. It's a tremendous blessing. Thank you that when we go places, we can be in a comfortable vehicle with the temperature fixed so it's comfortable and keeps the rain out and everything. Well, that's a blessing. Thank you for for the things that we tend to abuse sometimes, Lord. You know, sometimes we get kind of too preoccupied with some of your blessings like television and cell phones and uh, maybe video games and maybe uh, social media. I don't know, Lord, is this easy for us to to get unbalanced with these things and use them in a way that's not really good. But I pray, Lord, that we would keep the balance, but at the same time be thankful for these things and uh, and find your perfect will so that we don't let those things keep us from doing more important things. We need to find your balance and, and keep your priorities, our priorities. We want to, we want to do the really important things, not just the, just the fun things. Uh, Lord, I thank you for your spiritual blessings that we get in Jesus, all these incredible blessings, our sins forgiven. We get to be your, your righteous kids because you declared us to be righteous because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. Thank you that you promised us eternal life because of Jesus, and we get to be with you forever in glorified bodies. 
So help us to just really understand better than ever before all these incredible blessings and to be filled with gratitude so we can enter your court in your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise, giving you praise for the great, awesome God you are. Uh, just be thankful unto you and bless your name. So thank you for this verse. Uh, Lord, I do pray for Lizzie's mom. You know what's going on there in her life and the decision she has to make. You said if we lacked wisdom, we could ask for it and you would give it. So I pray you give her wisdom to know what to do uh, and help her to have the peace that you can give, the peace that passes understanding that she's going to do the right thing at the right time. So we'll just, just work those details out. Pray again for uh, Princeton's rooster, Lord. You know how to take care of that rooster and that farm, so be merciful to them, please. Pray for Via's unspoken request. I suspect others have needs and things that they haven't spoken either. You know all these needs. We pray that you'd remind us to come to you often and make our requests known to you. You commanded us to do that. And also to have this attitude of gratitude of being thankful and praising you all through the process. Now, I pray, Lord, you'd help these kids do well on the Ephesians test. If they need to review a little bit, help them to review and learn what they need to learn. Help them not to make careless mistakes. Um, Help them get their heads on straight and, and uh, not just so they can do academically well, but so they can understand your word just a little bit better, your living word. So be merciful to them, I pray. Help us all to bless you the rest of this day and bring you glory in Jesus' name. Amen.